In this video, we are going to continue learning about if else statements, and we're going to step it up a notch in this video and throw in another keyword called LIF statements. Okay, I won't explain them just yet, but what I'm going to do right now is tell you about the app that we're making. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the user to type in their age, and then based upon their age, we're going to tell them what movies they are able to view. So if they type in a number that's 18 or above, then they're allowed to watch R-rated movies. If they type in a number that's anywhere between 15 and 17 years old, they're restricted to MA movies. And then anyone else, so that's pretty much anything younger than 15, are allowed to watch G, PG, and M rated movies. Okay, so let's have a go at making this app by heading over to Mew and making yourself a new document. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to ask the user what their age is. So we need an input statement first with brackets and quotation marks that says enter your age. Put a colon, space, quotation marks, and bracket to finish it off. Now, once the user answers that question, we want to store that value into a variable. So back to the start of that line. Let's give this variable the name age and write equals after that. So age will be equal to whatever the user enters in as their age. Now, because we want to perform some calculations on this number, we need to convert this value from a string to an integer. So before the word input, write in the word int and open up a bracket. And then at the end, let's close a bracket. And that will convert the string that gets typed in into an integer data type, which will allow us to perform some mathematical calculations on the next few lines. All right, so we're going to get into the if else statement now. So remember, the first thing we need to look at is how old they are. So if the age is equal to, actually when they, we'll go greater than or equal to first. So if the age is greater than or equal to 18, and then put a colon. That's just saying if the user is 18 years or above, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to print a message and it says, you can watch R-rated movies. Close your quotation marks, close your brackets. All right, that's an easy one. The next line of code that we need to deal with is the middle one on our table here, where we have to deal with those that are between the ages of 15 and 17 years old. They're allowed to watch MA-rated movies. So instead of writing the word else, like we usually would do with an if else statement. We're going to change it to an L if keyword there. Okay, so you can see it still turned a different color because Python recognizes it as a keyword. And L if stands for else if. Okay, so else if age is less than or equal to 17 and the age is greater than or equal to 15. So that line there simply says if the age is less than 17 or 17 or below and also 15 and above. We put a colon and we'll print another message and it's going to say you can watch MA rated movies. All right, close your quotation marks and brackets to finish that one off. And then the final keyword that we put in is else. Okay, so what else do we do if all other avenues are exhausted? We put a colon and we simply tell them print. You can watch G rated, PG rated and M rated movies. Close your quotation marks and bracket to finish it off. All right, so let's just step, that th step through that quickly and see what's going on. So at the start, the user enters their age and it is stored in the variable called age. Then we call up that variable to find out if the age is greater than or equal to 18. Then we're going to print this line here that says they can watch R-rated movies. If they aren't greater than 18, then we just skip that line. Okay, and we don't even run it, we just ignore it completely. That's why it is indented. 
Okay, the reason this code is indented is because we're only going to run it if we meet this criteria. Okay, so if we don't meet that criteria, then we come down to this next line. So L if or else if the age is this and the age is that. So between those two age brackets there, then we're going to print this line. But if we don't meet this criteria here, then we just skip over that line. We pretend it's not there. And then we come down here and we read the word else. So basically anything else left over. So that's everyone less than 15 years of age. Then we print that line out for them. All right, so let's save it and test it and just make sure that it is working. So I'm going to call this one elif statements. Oh, not elif, sorry, elif statements. And then I'm going to run it and let's see what happens. So it says enter your age. Let's start young. We'll say we're eight years old. It says we can watch G, PG and M rated movies. We'll stop it and start it again. We'll enter our age as 14 this time. Actually not 14, we need to go a bit older. 16. It says we can watch MA rated movies. Let's run it one more time and we'll say that we are 21 years old. We can watch R rated movies. Let's test out the boundaries now. So what I mean by that is when we run the code, let's see what happens when we enter the age 15. It says we can watch MA rated movies. So that boundary is working well. Let's try 18. So we should be able to watch R rated movies. Yes, we can. All right, so it seems like our code is working very well. All right, so if you've got more than two options, that the user can pick from, that's where the word LIF comes in handy. It just opens up more options. If you wanted to add in even more options, so more than three options, by all means, go for it. You can add as many as you want, as long as you're using the word LIF instead of the word else. We can only use the word else once, but we can use LIF time and time again. Just to give you an example of that, we could write in down here LIF age so if the age is less than two we could print the message you shouldn't be watching movies at all okay um, so that's just another L if we can add in I'm pretty sure that'll work if we run it let's see we'll enter the age one there we go you shouldn't be watching movies at all all right, so you can keep adding more and more elifs if you wanted to, but I'm just going to delete that one because that wasn't a part of our original program. All righty, so keep practicing those ifs and elifs and elses, and I will see you in the next video where we're going to learn something new yet again.